Hey guys, it's Letty. Let's just 41 with three points. And <clears throat> it's uh, Saturday evening. So, um, our company just left. And uh, when they got here, I was actually working on some with with some of my um, my scope scopy clays. And uh, I was creating some uh, baby binkies. And this is who I was creating them for. My little love right here. My handsome boy. So, um, he's going to be right here. Um, so we can, um, you know, because he wants to be here with mommy. <laughs> and, uh, yeah. So I'm going to do a little tutorial of just how I, I create them. And then, um, they'll probably be, I'll probably, you know, kind of edit this as, uh, um, you know, <laughs> during the, bless you, during the process. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry about that, <laughs> but um, <laughs> anywho, um, yeah, so let me go ahead and begin. Okay, guys, so I forgot to show you these right here. Um, these are just some of the ones that I had created and um, before I, I received um, my little boy. Um, I had made some because I was going to get a girl, but then I at the last minute I changed my mind. And <laughs> I had created these right here. So I had created these three, just these three right here. And I do apologize for all the shadow, but you know, it is late and I'm trying to work under some light here. But I had uh, worked on these three, and I really like this purple, but I like the shape of that one also. So I'll probably make some more because you just never know. Right now, um, and then I had already worked on these little ones for my mini ones, my little mini silicones. And these are the colors that I've started on for my new boy. There's that one. I still have to bake these guys. So then I have this blue one. doesn't have the um, nipple yet. And this one I still have to work on. Oh, actually it's done. There you go. And then this one I still have to work on the nipple. And then this one is complete as well. That's a green one. And I did these colors also because you, you just never know for Christmas. You know, I'll have some of the Christmas colors. So we got to work on some dark blue, which I thought I had already made one, but it was actually the light blue. So, all right, let's go ahead and begin here. Try to make a blue one here. And you might not be hearing me talk throughout the whole video because like I said, I might I might speed this up. I'm not sure if I remember remember how to do it. <laughs> because um I haven't done the the uh, speed um technique. So I actually thought I had, oh, you know what, this was going to, I was going to start this one on this one last night and I didn't. Okay, so we'll go ahead and work on this one. And I also need my little spatula here. It's my Cricut spatula. So I need that as well. And I actually create, uh, made these out of um, silicone, you guys. So these are great. So when you're working on, you know, clay. Um, so let's see here. And um, I keep forgetting to try and buy the... Um, there's like this, um, I don't know if it's a solution or oil or what it is, but you add it to your clay and it kind of softens it up a little bit, helps it with, um, you know, working with it, you know, while working with it. Um, I noticed that while I was working with these binkies here, um, my 
arms, my wrists were actually hurting. Baby almost fell down trying to reach over for these tools and I really don't like them around me when I'm working with these tools because they're not oh, yeah. toys. Okay, it is still hard and I just love this um, white one that I bought, the Scopey, the big Scopey, white Scopey clay because it is super, super soft. Oh, and another thing that I, oops, sorry about that. Another one of the things that I like to keep handy is a wipey because after each um, color, I like to um, I like to wipe my fingers because if not, then you'll transfer that color into the next color. And um, and I normally carry or not carry but keep a dry paper towel as well, which I have a roll right here in front of me. But I forgot to get a piece of that. Okay, so just to dry my hands and make it quicker, you know, move on with the process. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and create a little ball, and I do apologize, but and another thing that I forgot to show you is this one. Um, this is the way it came, but this is the only thing I have that um, I can work with. That's it's got a flat surface, and. Um, what I do is I also clean this because this is what's making the shape, the round shape for me. And I just kind of try and clean, you know, um, as much as I possibly can. And then see how it has those crease lines there. I really don't like those um, when they're left on there because then when... When I um, press on it, when I go down to press on it, okay, they're pretty much gone. Um, they're still showing. So. And I really don't want to make these binkies too big. And um, you have to try and keep it the same thickness all around. And like I said, I don't want to make it too big because... He is a small baby. So then I get my spatula here and I go underneath it and I just kind of turn this deal around, spin it, turn it, however you want to call it. And then you are going to get that part there. And all I do is just put a little bit of pressure on there. Okay. And then I just kind of tap it and it is kind of hard and that's oops I'm doing it all wrong <laughs> hold on a second okay sorry guys but I did drop my piece of clay um okay and if you notice how it does have a little crack right there I don't know if you can see that it has another crack right there and what I try and do um because I don't want to use water or or anything like that I just kind of roll the edges here on my mat and if you don't if you um, see that they're not going away you can just um, work with it by smoothing it down with your spatula but they were practically um, gone okay and oh this is kind of difficult because the stand is right here by my left arm and now I have to try and make that oval shape and I'm gonna see if I can do it with this clay because like I said it is kind of hard for me to work with um, let me go ahead and get the two that I normally use I normally use this one right here okay and it starts to shape make that shape right there and all I do is I just press on it on both sides and then I just keep going it is a process and sometimes you know you have one side a little bit wider than the other or more round than the other and then sometimes I have to get this um, right here and just kind of push in a little bit and it pushes real good if you're working from your mat 
okay I do apologize if you can't really see everything that I'm doing here Let's see if I can do a close-up hopefully my phone doesn't start to flip on me see as I'm working on it There's probably a better way to do this, but this is the only way that I can do, that I know that I can make my binkies. And I do want them to be not too, um, you know, pointy. And I do need to put a little bit of pressure and just kind of spread them up a little bit. and you have to do both sides because when you're doing one side the other side tends to get flat and it has no shape whatsoever so you have to regardless work from one side and then flip it the other side Okay, maybe this is not like the best, best binky, but it's going to work for my baby. She, she wants to know where it came from. I know that. I can hear my granddaughter asking grandpa all sorts of questions over there. Do apologize for the background noise you guys but okay so here I'm pretty much done now I'm gonna work on making the center part here and I don't need that much okay now <laughs> okay, so and I do apologize for this step right here when you're working to soften it up because it is super hard. It is so hard. <laughs> Once I get to the white part for the nipple, you're gonna see a difference, big difference. And this circle might be a little bit too big, but we'll see. Yeah, it's too big. So we're going to cut quarter off. And then we're going to go ahead and work that out into another little ball again. Okay. okay, maybe that's a little better. I don't know. We'll see. Now we'll have to cut some more. Now we're going to put the smooth that I put pressure on part. It still looks the same. Okay, so we're going to cut some more here because we don't, we don't want it to look too big. <clears throat> and then we're going to use that and I'm probably going to mix it with some white to do the part that hangs over okay see this right here I don't like this this part right here you could tell where it's um it's cracking and it does not look even in in the um, thickness so I have to try and work that one okay. 
we don't want it bouncing off so we're gonna go ahead and put our finger over it just to put a little bit of pressure just to kind of hold it down is what I meant I think that'll be okay then that's where I'll leave it so I'll just put a little bit of pressure on there and that's it I don't have to use anything to glue them together now this blue right here that I cut off I'm gonna use it with some of this white sculpey here and because I'm gonna use some white I'm gonna have to go ahead and um, clean off all the blue you know because believe it or not there is some blue in there residue and then I'll just dry my hands really quickly and pull out this white one out and like I said this white one oh this one's awesome oh and then you want to clean your spatula as well because you know when you scrape it off you don't want to mark your your work and I'm also going to wipe my blade or exacto knife and I'm going to use some of this white here I'm only going to use a very small piece and I don't really need this much but I'm actually going to cut some more because we're going to do the binky part I forgot Let's see just a dab tad more okay that should do it and you also want to clean this area here okay we're just gonna wrap this up just just like this just so it doesn't pick up too much air I'm just gonna wipe this little area here it doesn't take much time to do and now I'm going to get where's my white clay Oh, excuse me. Oh, my nose is itching. <coughs> okay, so I'm going to grab a little bit of this white, which is hardly nothing. Okay. And it's just a tiny little ball. Maybe just a little bit. Okay. Never mind. I'm just going to use this little ball that I had here. And then I'm going to use this right here, and I'm going to try to work it a little bit again. But this time, we're going to work on making the um, the little um, handle thing. Now, this is what I'm going to do. So I'm going to make a string of blue and a string of white. And I'm going to try to make the white one a little longer. And if you can see that. But this is what I did, okay? I just made this blue one, and now I'm making a white one. And then, what, honey? Okay, honey. That's Caleb's. See, that's all I did. And you don't really need to wrap it that, that good. And then I'm just going to flip it over. Okay, go play with her, honey. Just a few times to show more blending in there um, you don't want the white to show too dark you want it to kind of blend in with the blue and once you've done that it depends how thick you want to make this that goes around you know it's that little ring that hangs over and I think I like this size and this thickness here okay and now what I have to do is I hope I'm in frame Okay, is I'm just gonna press against it a little bit and then press down, and hopefully it stays. Then I'm gonna bring it, swing it around. See what I mean? Never works on camera. <laughs> and now, if you notice how it looks, this is where these come in. You want to use these little points here to kind of like blend it in. I'm not gonna tell you again. Okay, so we're going to leave it like that. And now we're going to work on the, um, on the, um, nipple part, you know. And we're going to move some of this white because even the white can get on the, 
on the blue when you get it um you know yes on the blue when when you flip it around so now we're going to go ahead and see if this is going to be a good size yeah this is going to be a good size okay and that's all i do and then i just bring just make a little pinch well actually i'm gonna you have to do it actually on your um, mat because if you don't do it on if you don't make the little ball on your on your mat, you will get um, all these creases um, on the uh, nipple part. And then I'm just gonna kind of shape it a little bit. Okay, I'm just gonna shape it a little bit. I don't want it too round. And then I'm just gonna pinch. Kind of picked up. So I'm kind of lent right there, I think. <clears throat> Picked up a little piece of lint. And then I'm just going to pinch a little. Okay, I'm going to pinch a little. And after I pinch, I'm going to actually going to try and pinch it and make it into a little plate. That's what I want to do. And I know it's kind of hard to do so. But because that's the part that you're going to attach to your passy. See, it's not all that well. You know, it doesn't have to be that perfect on there. If you can make it perfect, then... Then good for you, but you're going to use your tools to um, work around it anyhow. So, now we're going to go ahead and, and get the passy. We're going to put this in on here, just like so. And now we're going to use this tool here. And this is where I'm going to um, bring this, press, 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 just kind of press on it a little bit. And then you're done. And then there's the binky. And no, actually you're not done. <laughs> and I should have done this first. Okay. Um, this is where this comes in. Before you put the nipple on there, okay, your little nipple part, you want to be able to create the little holes that you normally get on your binkies. And working with it on a flat surface is a much, much better um, way to do it because then, you know, you have a flat surface to work on. But because I forgot to show you that process. Um, that step there, I have to do it from from this end because this way, this part stays flat. You know, it doesn't come up the way it is now. But we will have to do that to our, um, to our next ones, right? So this is just so you'll know that when you're doing this step right here. You want to be able to work on it flat, on a flat surface like this, so that it stays in place. I mean, you know, the, the, the other side does not come up. Because, you know, you're putting pressure on there, and everything is coming out this way, from this side. And then when you look at it, you know, you can see that. And you don't want to see that on a binky. You want it to be nice and smooth. So we're just gonna smooth it out as much as we can. See, and that's where these come in. And like I said, you can use water. You know, it'll smooth it out and soften it up better um, when your clay is hard. But if you have that um, solution deal that, <clears throat> that you buy, like at Michael's and stuff, I'm going to make this one just a tad bigger. And now, I'm going to go ahead and attach this one there. Okay. And 
you are going to uh, put it in the oven at 275 for 20 minutes 275 guys that's it 20 minutes and they'll be done I don't have candy honey I'm sorry you already ate those she likes those um, zap or whatever they're called little candies that you um, put here on these things oh Pez <laughs> I don't know why I called it zap I knew it was three letter word what honey what okay give me a minute okay grandma's busy give me a minute okay so but anyhow um once once you put it in the oven it will it would it, it will you know um stay in place and uh and you're done you're done and then after you um you bring it out of the oven then um you just gloss it up with some of that scope scopey gloss and i have another one i can't remember what it's called let me grab them here for you so i can show you okay so i have this sculpey um satin glaze and okay and then i have this one and this one i had bought a while back and let me go ahead and peel this and this is air dry and that's what I'm saying. You're going to put your glaze um, after you've placed it in the... Um, this one I think I ended up paying like... Let me see if I can see this. It looks like... It looks like it says 50 cents. I don't know. But the rest of it stayed here. Let me show you the bottle. This air dry um, permanent enamel satin glaze for glass, ceramic, <coughs> and tile. Um, I'm sure you know. Well, it, it worked on on my um, on my um, pieces that I've done before, as far as the uh, um, like the little um, embellishments that I uh, used that I made. And used on my cell phone covers so that's what you use guys unless you can find something else but there you have it um, there's the binky and like I said before you put them in the oven you want to go ahead and kind of just you know work with it a little um, and uh, make sure that you know nothing's crooked or anything like that and um, and then that's it that's it and how I bake mine is like this you can bake it like this or you can bake them like this however you want let me show you where is it can you see it yeah you can see it so there it is and this one should fit baby just fine let me go ahead and um back up a little bit okay here's my baby this is his binky that he came with and then this one is going to be that he the one that he uses and it should be able to cover his little mouth just fine shouldn't be that big I hope not I don't think it looks that big so anywho um, there you have it um, Okay guys, sorry, I do apologize for that, but my camera cut me off before I could show you that um, this one, um, it, it keeps coming apart, but it's okay because I'm going to fix it. I just wanted to do a quick tutorial for y'all, and let me show you baby here real quick. Uh, I don't know if it caught, um, caught this part, but um, this is his current binky right now that he came with, and then once I put his in there... You know, that's kind of the way he's going to look. Gives you an idea. I can't really see. Um, but, um, you know, it's pretty much almost the same size. Um, 
It might be just a tad bigger, but it'll still go in there. And maybe I'll make the rest of them a little bit smaller. But just an idea. There it is. Shouldn't be that big. That's it, guys. Well, there's, um, oops, sorry, cut me off again. I really need to delete some videos from here. But anyhow, guys, that, um, that's, that's the binky for the baby. And uh, that is it. So you saw how it kind of fits. And that's it. So hope y'all like this um, little tutorial that I did for y'all. And uh, hopefully at the end of this clip I'll go ahead and um, add the results of how they look and how they feel after being baked in the oven. All right. See y'all soon. Bye bye. So here I have, um, what is it, 369 of the binkies that I've created. Please excuse my pen, but this one's the one I use for all my projects. And um, so yeah, so I'm gonna go ahead and put it in the oven at two, three, two seventy-five. Hang on. Okay, so here we go. Oh goodness. Okay, hang on a second. Okay, sorry. I just I just realized I had left um, the. Uh, the bread pan in there so there they are okay and then I will show you the results okay guys and then I have it set oops 375 I mean 275 275 and I'm going to set it for 20 minutes Okay, and then we will see the results. Alright guys, so time's up. Um, and you heard that. <laughs> so, here they are. And we're going to go ahead and um, let them cool down. And then I will come back and um, show you the rest. Okay guys, so I'm done and this is the results and what i did what i went ahead and did was i added the ones that i had previously made which were these right here and then all these itty bitty ones for my uh tiny or yeah for my tiny silicones for um for gus and um <clears throat> oh my goodness gus and cora <laughs> I need to handle those two babies more often. I'm forgetting their names. Okay, so let me go ahead and begin. These three here, um, these are about the size of a quarter, more or less. And these I had previously made when I was waiting for my um, eight inch baby to come in. I had originally thought about getting a girl. This is the passy part. And I had changed my mind. And because she hadn't started on mine, I went ahead and contacted Kimberly, Kimberly, Kimberly and asked if I could go ahead and switch that to a boy. So she did that for me, and I do appreciate it. Bunches. And this is another, you know, design that, you know, we have in, in Passies. Um, so these are the three that I had created for her. And I didn't want to create too many because I didn't know how big they needed to be. And come to find out that these are a little bit... Kind, they're kind of big for an eight, eight inch baby now these are perfect for the babies but I think I need to upsize these I went with this size because I don't have the original one the original one was oh this is the original one hello this is the original one that came with my little baby um with Cora when I got her um um, and she's also a Cambry doll. She is 6.5 inches big. And then, so these are for her. And the reason why this one's not um, glossed, and I went ahead and glossed all of them while I was in the process of the new ones. And this one, she had it. No, yeah, she had this one. I think she was, she had this one. And I missed out on this one because it was in her little bed. So I didn't get to gloss that one. And then I didn't gloss this one because it was with Gus. Okay, and what other one did I not gloss? That's it. So, um, Gus was second on that one. 
Cora was sucking on, uh, no, Cora was sucking on the pink one, I think. And then this one was inside her, her bed. Anyhow, so I was able to gloss the other ones. And this is a air dry gloss. Now, these here, um, all these right here, these, from, well, from here to here, I made new. They're new. Now, this is the first size that I started off for um, my new silicone boy. And, um, and yeah, so I think they were, and I was going by that size right there. But once I, 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 um, I tried the first one on him, I felt that it was kind of big. And I'll go ahead and show you all here in a second. So then I started to downsize on sizes. And you can see right here the difference in size. And this one fits much better in his mouth as far as, you know, it won't cover too much. Although this one still can be used. So what I did was after I had um, baked these in the oven and um, glossed them up and everything, I went ahead and went back and I made some smaller size. Okay, so I downsized on some, most of these, all these down here, I downsized on them. So what I did was I kind of duplicated the big ones that I had just recently made, and I made them smaller. Although, I thought this one was a good size, so I didn't redo this one. I, had, I think I had already made this one, along with that green one up there, and all the other ones. So I decided to just stick to this one, and this one looks pretty good on him, and I'll show y'all here in a second so I have a black one like that I have a blue one like that as you can see you know you can see the difference in style and you want to be able to make this big enough to fit in his mouth and kind of stay in his mouth because if not then it'll slip out when you're dressing him and stuff or if you're bathing him and now so I went ahead and made this is actually an orange, a double orange. So I'm probably going to give him this one and maybe try and give this one to either my itty bitty ones. If they look okay, if not, he'll have two orange ones. One with a uh, brown handle and one with um, all orange. And I tried to go with Christmas and, and Halloween theme, you know, and like the red ones, Valentine. You know, so my green ones are, my green and reds are for Christmas. There's a smallest size right here for them as well. I still need to make some more for the for the itty bitty silicones. Then I had some of these um, molds that I had, and I decided to work on some of these. And I thought these were pretty cute. I did a pumpkin. Okay, so I did a pumpkin, and I did two different skulls. I did this one actually three three different kinds of skulls and these are this one is black black this one is mixture of <coughs> excuse me about that um, this one's um, white and black so I made a gray there um, so I just mixed my clays um, both my clays um, you know the black and white to make a gray color and then we have a spider web then we have the spider itself. Then we went with rodeo style brown. And I did a black. And these are all for my 8 inch silicone baby. I did a black bow. Then I did a white snowflake. And you can see the gloss in there. I'm sh pretty sure you can see the. I hope you can. Let's see. I can't really see from my from my angle in the camera. I really can't see if you can see the gloss or not. I do apologize, but maybe once I view it, um, I go over my video. And then I did um, a mixture of blue and white, and this is a really light blue, really pretty, and it's kind of um, you know um, glittery uh, shimmer. It's got some shimmer in it. And I went ahead and used some white as well on this one. So there's three different kind of snowflakes that my mold had. And um, it's those Martha Stewart blue circle molds. And um, so there was three different snowflakes. So I went ahead and used all three different snowflakes. And they look really good. This one's a little Easter egg. <clears throat> and I didn't finish it because I needed to go in there and color it that in. And then I'll... I'll um, gloss it up and then 
I did this one for my mini baby girl and I just need to color in the eyes and nose and this is one of my favorites this one here and this is actually a two-piece mold and all I did was just you know um, kind of try to put pressure on both of them as you know I kind of uh, pressed again pressed them both against each other and um, so they can you know um, stay stuck to each other and then I um, when you're working on these things no matter what size of, of binky you're working on it's kind of hard because you're 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 holding the binky and you're you're doing the nipple part and as you're smoothing everything and you're coming down on your you know on your nipple and you're working on it and then you're smoothing it it's hard to not ruin the um, you know the um, the you know this part <laughs> so yeah and my other fave is this little ladybug and I think I am gonna stick to this bean for my little man my 8 in 8 inch silicone but we'll see because it's a ladybug I just figured you know hmm those are normally for girls but because it's a bug I went ahead and you know made it anyway so <laughs> Okay, so let me go ahead and show you. My babies are right there. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> Excuse me. We're going to try my baby girl first. And we're just going to put her here. And um, I'm just going to show you how these look on her. Okay. And I think I should have made the passy part a little bigger so it can really go in there and stick in there. Um, but other than that, it stays there. Um, that's that style. And then there's this pink one. Well, I should have showed you the purple one, actually. The one that's not um, glossed up. There's that pink one. And then there's this purple one. This is that different style, you know. I hope this doesn't cut me off. There's that one. And I did kind of make this a little crooked, but that's all right. I do plan on making more. And then um, these, I don't think they'll fit her well because these are a little bit bigger and these are, you know, look, just the passy itself. I mean, the nipple. Now, I completely forgot that <clears throat> I was making this one. Where is it? This one for her. So I hope I made it not too big, the nipple part. Oh yeah, perfect. Look at that. There's a Hello Kitty Passy. That looks really pretty. Once I do the whiskers and the eyes, and I think she has a little nose, um, it'll look really pretty on her. And then, um, this one's for my little guy. And then, see, this is for my little guy as well. If it had been for her, let's see how it would have looked. It's kind of big. It won't go in. Yeah, I won't go in. So, okay. So that's my little Cora. And we're going to go ahead and put this white one on Cora. We decided, I decided that I was going to put the white one on her since she's wearing white. Okay. <clears throat> I'll bring you over here to the side um, once they each have a passy. Now, my little, 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 little bitty man. He has all these colors right here. These are all his. He has from... Um, some blacks and browns and we're gonna try this we're gonna try this one last because I think he's gonna keep this one on I need to gloss that white one like I said let's try this green one here it's like almost like a hunter green look at that and then this style here as you can see it's different I'll try that one on him hard to get these itty bitty things <laughs> there's that one so cute and he's a five inch baby so we're gonna go ahead and put the brown, uh, blue one on him since he's wearing um, dark blue and maybe we should have 
I think we need to work on gray, on making them some gray ones and stuff. So, okay, so that's my little man. And here's my other little man. This is my precious little man. <clears throat> now, these are all of his. And let's see, let's try this blue one. Make sure my camera's still running. Look at that. Offside. This <laughs> look really cute. <laughs> they all and they 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 pretty much stay in there. These are gonna be pretty much like the Halloween colors. I need to make one with black. See, it doesn't come out very easy. We'll try this brown one here. Oh, it, yeah, it's brown. It's a chocolate brown. We're kind of like in an angle, so bear with me, guys. Okay. And then there's these bigger ones. Try this white one. And I think these are these are a good size still. I really like these. <clears throat> and then this is a tad bigger. Where's Trevor? Or that's you in the... See, I made this kind of long. Or maybe because the passy's kind of big. <clears throat> so there's that size. And then it just gets a little bigger. And uh, you'll see what I meant as far as how big I had made them. I think that one still looks good on him. Maybe I shouldn't have made these handles too big. And then this is the real big one. And these are the the very first ones that I had made for him. Because I was going by that size right there. Yes, we are twins. When I'm on Ancestry, I just put in the name of my parents and my grandma. They still look good. I'll still use them. Let's see these styles now. The Christmas theme. And of course, you know, they're going to be great for every day. You know, depending on the clothing that they wear, um, he'll still be able to use it. <clears throat> but it's going to work great for um, his Christmas colors, uh, Christmas color um, clothing. Um, if I can find some. Here's a blue one. This one's really big. <laughs> But you know, it. I was okay with it because I do plan on getting, you know, a couple more babies, like the 10 inch and so on. So if these are if these are gonna look too big, y'all let me know if y'all think it looks too big on him. Um, then I will, I can continue. They're easier to to well not easier to make, but they're a little bit easier to handle. Um, and I think they look really cute because they're they're a little bit bigger. But if y'all don't think that it looks too big, then I can continue to make some more of these. Um, I have fun. I, I really enjoy making these things. I just work, love working with my hands, you know, love crafting, um, uh, coming up with new ideas, just like I did with these here um, for their holidays. Let me jump to these now, because y'all pretty much saw how those all fit. Um, so this is the pumpkin. There's this little pumpkin. <laughs> Cute. There's this skull. And as um, you're making these, you need to be able to come to his little mouth before you make the, the nipple part. 
and be able to come to his mouth so that it doesn't hit his nose and you don't make it too far, you know, uh, down here. And you make it kind of like in the right spot where the top of the head is not going to hit the nose. See that? And I still have to work on making another one. I want to make a mustache. Yeah. These are for like Halloween. Halloween or gothic gothic day. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Just joking. But look at that. <laughs> I'm trying to move fast, you guys, so yeah, I don't, so I don't make this too long. Spider. Okay, and then the hat. <laughs> and they stick in there pretty good because I made the nipples. Big enough to fit. I kind of went with the one that he came with. You know, that little blue one. I should have went up a little higher, but I couldn't really because the hat's not that big. It's small. You know, it's a small hat. And this is the bow. <laughs> These are the snowflakes. I made the snowflakes to where he has the two little lumps there versus one, you know. But you can turn it anyhow. There you go. See, one snowflake, or you can put the you can put the snowflakes to where there's two pointing out towards his little nose. And then there's this size. So it just depends where you want to point the snowflake. There's that one. Now this one, you do want to be able to put it where there's an opening. Uh, I think I have the right opening because I did kind of, you know, made them kind of oval a little bit so that it fits his little mouth. And, and it doesn't cover his little nose. See? Here's that one. Here's the Easter egg. Where does this go? Okay. This is the Easter egg. And the ladybug. <laughs> the ladybug. And the other fave. <laughs> Oops. And this is kind of in the way a little bit, but. See? It's really flush. And they all fit flush like that. So. <clears throat> those are their passies. Let's see which one we put on him. Um. I'll go with this blue since he's wearing blue. Okay, there's my three babies, guys. And I didn't put his little cap because I wanted to show y'all his little hair. Like the way it swells right there. This is kind of getting messed up where I was messing with this hair. And I have been using a little bit of that um, um, Baby Magic um, lotion because it helps his hair kind of stay in place. But right now, of course, you know what's handling him, so. <laughs> He's such a cutie pie. There they are. <clears throat> okay guys well as I said uh, I've been working on some passies and there's a couple more that I did molds on and um, I'll be making some more passies probably 
and um, yeah, so that is it. And like I said, um, I, I don't know if I'm gonna get another little doll <clears throat> of the new sizes that um, Kimberly has right now. If not, then I'm just gonna wait for my um, 13 to uh, eight, a uh, 10 to 13 inch baby. Okay, guys. Well, I hope y'all enjoyed this um, tutorial, and I will see y'all real soon. Bye. Well, okay, guys. I just wanted to give you an overview of all the little patsies besides the ones that they have in their little mouths. And um, so, yeah. If y'all, sorry to make y'all uh, for making y'all dizzy there. Um, but if y'all um, like this video, this tutorial, I uh, hope that it helped. Give it a thumbs up. Comment down below. And if you're not a subscriber yet, go ahead and click that subscribe uh, button. And I uh, will see you all next time. Bye.